Hero units are like the complete badasses. Heroes are bigger, badder, and usually more destructive than any other unit in your arsenal. I know to get the heck out of Dodge because, you know, these guys are just going to demolish me. Heroes in End of Nations are unique characters with special abilities and backstories that stand above and beyond the other units in your army. Every unit has one special ability. Heroes can have multiple special abilities. They're used best when you want to surprise your enemy with something you have up your sleeve. A player can bring them in and they can completely change the tide of battle. Aside from being incredibly fun to play with, heroes add another layer of depth, another layer of strategy. They have abilities that can apply to the units in their company. There are ways to pick certain heroes, mesh them with certain units, and synergize them together so that, as a whole, they're even better. Take Blur, for example. Combine her power that increases the speed of all units with a set of smaller rocket strike vehicles, and you can form an incredibly fast attack company that can harass your enemy anywhere on the map. I really like to use the Liberty Brigade. Moose is this hugely powerful artillery unit, and it's really uh, fun to sneak the white mice behind enemy lines and paint a bunch of targets and then have Moose kind of unleash a barrage on them. Heroes and elite companies that can be played by anybody, we refer to as mercenaries. Mercenary companies are a group of units that you pay to fight on your behalf. A merc company is a specialized package containing a hero with a handful of sidekicks that have been designed to work extremely well together on the battlefield. They are willing to fight for any faction in the game, so they're available to all players regardless of which side they've chosen. The hero units and elite companies are definitely very powerful and a great asset for every player that uses them. They are the game changers that make your enemy rethink their own strategy. As the game progresses, we're always going to be releasing new heroes and new elite companies, so you always have somebody new to look forward to. There's just so much that we can do with this game and just continually enhance it and add to it. I think it'll just, it'll go on for years and years and years.